since it's the beginning of the year, if you look at the Zephyr project itself, of course, we can look at Macro also, or the bigger ecosystem. What are the things that you see uh, are in the pipeline or the things that Zephyr community uh, should and is working on? Because you folks are dealing with, you know, end users, you know, and customers of, you know, these open source technologies. So you have better insights than most of us. Absolutely. So there's uh, one big area, of course, Risk Five, uh, where... Uh, it's an up and coming ISA. I mean, it's not so new anymore, but it's still kind of uh, waiting to be deployed wider and wider and wider. And of course, our fingers are crossed because we we believe you know an open source ISA is the right way to go. Uh, so we're kind of supporting quite a lot of Risk Five platforms in Renode, but also uh, in Zephyr, we're kind of helping maintain that particular uh, ISA. And uh, it's it's a challenge in the sense that you know. We need to uh, make sure the hardware uh, is there. We need to make sure that the abstractions to cover all the profiles that RISC-V has and uh, some of the complexity that's b built into the modular nature of RISC-V is addressed. We, we, because with ARM, for example, you could just rely on the fact that uh, by the time Zephyr came around uh, or, or became popular, ARM was already so widespread that it was kind of obvious you know, what to target. Uh, with with uh, risk five it's kind of still we're still pushing to get more platforms more boards um and uh, it's still kind of uh, developing as uh, an structure set architecture and uh, as an ecosystem so making sure that these two things work together well i think it's a great challenge it's one of the challenges that i actually like because it's pushing you know two uh, neighboring worlds um forward together <laughs>